Are you looking for the best 8-inch Dobsonian telescope? Then if so, you've come to the right place because today I'm going to be showing you the top three picks and also provide you with the pros and cons of each one. Now, you may be upgrading your existing Dobsonian telescope or you may be in the market for the first time. You may be a beginner uh, to astronomy and brand new to the hobby. Either way, these picks will be suitable for you. So first off, I'm going to start by talking about what makes a great Dobsonian telescope. So the three things that I've pulled out and the factors to consider, the first one is optical quality. Now, the best Dobsonians include parabolic primary mirrors that enable you to collect more light and observe faint objects with greater crispness and clarity even at higher magnifications. So in other words, they, the better telescopes obviously enable you to see more and in better quality. Secondly, ease of use, and that's probably what has drawn you to a Dobsonian in the first place. You essentially want one that's gonna be easy to use. And unfortunately, not all brands and makes, even of Dobsonians, are like this. Whether it's the assembly instructions or the poor design, you need to find a manufacturer that focuses on ease of use, particularly if you're a beginner. And price, of course, you want to be paying the least amount for the highest quality piece of kit. Um, and you'll notice when you look on the market that prices can dramatically, uh, can, prices can dramatically range. So do consider your budget and how much you can set aside. And do consider that a telescope is an investment and you want it to last you for a long time and you also want to consider that you may need to pay for some additional accessories and extras as well to get the most out of your telescope. So I put a note at the bottom there, it is often cheaper to buy a scope that comes with all the required accessories included even if it costs a little more up front. So just bear that in mind. So these are what makes, a, these are the factors that make a great Dobsonian telescope. They've come into, I've used these two to assess the different options on the market. And we are now gonna walk through the best three options, starting with the thir third placed telescope, moving on to the first. And one quick comment before I show you the telescopes. If you want to head into the my review, my written review of this video, click the link in the description and it will take you over to my site astronomyscope.com and you will see all of the specification of each telescope. It's, it's quite um, data driven and, and heavy for a video so I've left it out but do bear that in mind if you do want that kind of detail. So in third place we have the Skywatcher FlexTube 200 and it's a collaps collapsible Dobsonian. Now these are the pros and cons of this telescope. So it offers 400, 400 times maximum magnification. So that's 100 times more than the Orion Sky Quest Dobsonians, which are a rival product on the market. As I mentioned, the collapsible design means it's much easier to take down and set up, and, you can, and it also retains collimation when you do this. The altitude movement is known for being smooth, so a lot of users report that as a, as a benefit of this telescope. The base is easy to assemble with the tools that are provided and the components are of high quality and they should last well, sh should last if they are well taken care of. Now the cons are it's the most expensive 8 inch Dobsonian on the list, so the other two options I want to present to you. And the azimuth movement is known for being a little bit sticky which can be a little bit annoying if you are using it. So that's in third place. So in at number two is the Orion SkyQuest XD8 Classic. Now, as you'll see here from the picture on the left, it's a starter package and it provides you with a range of additional accessories. So you've got a moon map, you've got a finder scope there, you've got some Barlow lenses, you have an observer's guide, um, which is a good guide for finding um, different objects in, this, in, the, in the sky, and you also have a star target as well. Now, the pros of this telescope is that it comes with several of the optical benefits of the ST8+, Plus, but it is at a cheaper price point. So if budget is your main concern, then do consider this particular telescope. The cons are, is that provided finer scope is inferior in the classic version, and you also get less eyepieces than with the XT8 Plus option. So on to number one, you might have guessed this, but number one and the editor's choice and the 
eight inch Dobsonian telescope that I recommend is the X-T8 Plus. And here is why. The assembly instructions are very easy to follow and you can have the telescope set up and ready in under an hour. So several different users have reported this. It offers fine focusing and pushing to targets is very easy and it's natural with the included two inch uh, dual speed Crayford focuser. It features upgrades on collimating screws from the XT8 standard, which help align your mirrors a lot quicker and easier um, without the need for other accessories. And it provides two um, 28 millimeter eyepieces for wide field 40 times views. 120 times magnification and 240 times magnification is possible. Um, now the cons of this particular telescope are it takes some practice um, to use um, as, and naturally everything will be upside down and backward um, to begin with. So you might need to get some kind of uh, piece of equipment to correct that. Just bear that in mind. The focus of the scope can grind and that does, you know, it doesn't always move smoothly. So you may need to get a replacement telescope, which will be free of charge, but obviously there'll be a time um, and the, the effort kind of involved with doing that. Um, despite the tight tightening of the altitude knob, the tube does drift down slightly if it's less than 45 degrees. And you will need a moon filter if you are looking to observe the moon. So just bear that in mind. Nevertheless, in f here's the, f the kind of final verdict. All three telescopes are fantastic. They're all great if you're looking for an eight inch Dobsonian telescope, they wouldn't have made the list if they weren't. However, if I had to choose one and only one, it would have to be the X-T8 Plus. It is essentially the, an upgrade on the X-T8 Classic, which is a much loved fan favorite among astronomers. So here is what Orion had to say on their X-T8 Plus. This deluxe upgrade of our Stora 8 inch reflector telescope boasts a redesigned Dobsonian base, adjustable altitude axis tension, a two inch dual speed Crayford focuser, and a host of other upgraded features and included accessories to enhance your observing experience. Plus, we, you've got to love its amazing blue design. So that's my recommendation. If you, click a, if you click the link in the description below, you'll be taken over to Amazon to take a look at what other customers are saying and buy this, this telescope. Do bear in mind that is an affiliate link and I will earn uh, if you do make a purchase at no additional cost to you. As I said earlier in this video, there's also a link in the description down below to a review uh, version and text-based version of this uh, video here today. And it provides with all the spec of all the three telescopes referenced. So if you did want to compare them, you could go ahead and do that. With that said, I hope you have an excellent day and I wish you all the best with astronomy.